Hello, this is Andy from vpnmentor.com and in this video I'll be demonstrating Goose VPN. So first I'll download the software to my computer and show you around and see how user friendly they are. Secondly, I'll also test the speed of this VPN to see how fast they can get. Can they unblock geo-restricted content such as Netflix? Find out later on in the video. And towards the end I'll also show you how good their customer support is by asking a few questions and see how friendly and reliable they are. So let's get started with GooseVPN. So let's visit GooseVPN.com and see what kind of features this VPN company has to offer. So it's good to see they offer their own native software for Mac and Windows. Also Apple and Android mobile devices have a native app as well. So I'll be testing out the Windows client in just a moment so you get to see if they really are easy to install and just how user friendly they are. This is something that they do emphasize on their website as you can see here. Now let's click take a tour as I'll probably see more of what they have to offer here. And yes we can see that they use 256 bit encryption which is pretty standard for most VPNs and it is strong enough to secure your traffic. So for example if you surf on Wi-Fi hotspots quite regularly then this will secure your traffic and make you less susceptible to thieves, hackers or snoopers. So you will need a good secure encrypted connection if you're using Wi-Fi hotspots. Also, if you happen to be a torrent or peer-to-peer -peer user, then Goose VPN happily allow this activity. Only on a few selected servers though. But lastly, and more importantly, they also supply 55 servers in 31 different locations. And I'll be testing out just to see how fast a few of these are later on in the video. Okay, now I'm going to click Try Goose for free. And this will take me to the pricing plans. So they actually give you one month free, no matter what pricing plan you choose. And here you can see they offer three different pricing tiers. So you can pay monthly with full access to the service, or you could choose to pay a lower monthly fee, but only have a limited amount of data usage per month, or choose to pay annually, which means on average you pay a lot less per month. And so this means you're actually getting quite a good discount for that option. Speaking of discounts, I just want to let you know of an excellent way you can save huge amounts of money on VPNs. Go to vpnmentor.com and you'll instantly have access to money saving coupons and discounts. So if you're still undecided, then VPN Mentor will definitely save you a lot of time when searching for a VPN. But now back to the pricing plans. And I just want to emphasize that because Goose VPN give you the first month for free, this is technically a one month money back guarantee. They only ask that you pay 45 cents when you sign up, but this is only for verification. So if you feel the service is not right for you, you can simply request a cancellation. And whether you get that 45 cents back or not is unclear. It's not a lot of money, so it's nothing to get too stressed about. So I'm going to go for the one month plan for this demonstration. So you can choose to sign up with your Facebook account. However, if you want more privacy, then obviously choose to use your email address. And you don't have to give them your real name, maybe your initials or a fake name if you want. And here you will choose your password as well. And keep a note of that because you'll need that to log into the app. Also, for a small extra fee, they also offer anti-virus protection, anti-malware or anti-phishing and also firewall protection. However, for this tutorial, I'm going to decline that offer and just keep this very straightforward. For payment options, you have the usual standard credit card or PayPal. It's unfortunate that they don't seem to offer Bitcoin or any other digital currency. As the advantage to using Bitcoin is that you can ensure that your payment isn't tracked in the same way that credit cards and PayPal are. And this would of course increase your anonymity and privacy at the payment stage. But anyway, for this demonstration, I'll go ahead and choose PayPal. And once you've made your payment, you'll instantly have access to your online portal and you can keep track of your traffic consumption. So if you've paid for the limited subscription, then at least you can see if you're reaching your upper limit. And of course, here we can download the app as well. So let me go up to the top menu and click download. And the download page is very well laid out. Simply click on your chosen platform. Besides the most popular operating systems, Goose VPN also supply manual setup guides for other platforms and devices, such as your router or Linux based operating systems. But for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and download the Windows version. Overall, it's a very small file and it's very quick to download. Having downloaded this, I went ahead and installed the software. However, it did take longer than I expected, but 
that's no major issue because I'm now up and running. So I'm going to log in with my username and my password is the password I set at the sign up stage. So now that was quick and easy to sign in. What I want to do now is show you around the app itself. So I can show you all the basic features and functions and see how user friendly it is. So it has a very simple user interface and I'm getting prompted to upgrade my subscription but I'm happy with the one I've bought so I'm going to close this message down. So by clicking on the bottom left where it says VPN protocol I'll be taken to the settings panel. Here you can choose whichever protocol you need. It's good to see that they have all the standard protocols. Well, I'm just going to pick OpenVPN for this tutorial. So now if I click on the tab that says general, I can configure some basic settings. I can minimize this app so it doesn't get in the way while I'm going about my work. And I can set GooseVPN to give me reminders every 15 minutes if I'm not connected. And also I can set GooseVPN to launch automatically when I start up my computer. And so the connection tab allows me to configure some more of the settings. I can automatically connect to a server with launching the app. And I can even choose a favourite server that will automatically connect to rather than me manually picking one each time. And finally I can set the app to find the nearest server to my actual location. And this is useful to you because servers that are located closer to you will generally be a lot faster than ones that are further away. And lastly the FAQ support tab gives you direct access to their support team. And if you're having any technical difficulties, well, you can send debug data straight to their team. Okay, now that I've showed you around, I just want to quickly connect to any server, just to test how long it takes, and also to see that my app is working okay before I move on. So right in the center, there's a drop down menu listing all of the servers. Also, you'll notice some icons next to some of these servers. The play icon indicates that this is an ideal server for streaming. So if you need to use Netflix or YouTube or any other streaming service, definitely choose one of these servers over the others. And the peer-to-peer -peer icon lets you know that this server is being offered for peer-to-peer -peer traffic and torrent users. So let me quickly connect to one of these servers. I'm going to choose Brussels and I'm going to quickly connect and time this connection. This is just to see if the VPN actually successfully connects. And the server is actually quite close to me so it shouldn't take too long. And I'm happy to see that it only takes about 12 seconds, so that's very reasonable. And now, because this appears to be working, I'm just going to click disconnect, because what I want to do now is start putting GooseVPN to the test. First of all, let me confirm that I'm no longer using a VPN. Here you can see my original IP address based in the UK. As well as this, I also want to conduct a speed test of my original IP. So I can then compare it to the speed test I'll do later on in the video with one of the VPN servers. So this internet connection gives me a ping of 47 milliseconds. I have a download speed of 14.63 megabytes per second and an upload speed of 18.16. So now, as promised, I want to see if Goose VPN can unblock geo-restricted content. Why am I doing this? Well, depending on what country you're in, you might require the use of a VPN to unblock certain services. If some of these services are not available in your current location, then a VPN is exactly what you need to access these. So for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and test Goose VPN's capability of unblocking Netflix. So as I'm based in the UK, I've landed on the UK version of Netflix. So now I'm going to search for a TV series that I already know is not available for UK Netflix viewers but can be reached if you switch to a US IP address. So I'm going to search for a TV series called Lost. And just to confirm that I cannot access this TV series, here you can see my search results and I don't have access to this series at all. So to fix this problem, I'll need to switch to a US IP address. But first, in order for this to work properly, remember you need to sign out, you need to clear your browser cookies and restart your browser. Now let me connect to the US server. I'll pick one that is recommended for streaming as you, and you can tell this by the icon next to the server name it has a play icon. So in this case I'm going to choose New York. Again I'm timing this connection to see how fast it takes. So the last time it took 12 seconds and I had no problem connecting but this server is a little farther away from me so I'll give it a bit more time. This time it takes 14 seconds so again no problem here I'm happy with that. And just to confirm that I am using the VPN, here you can see all my traffic is now being routed through the New York server. 
And also, before heading to Netflix, I'm going to conduct a quick speed test and see how this server performs. Results are giving me a ping of 121, a download speed of 18.32 megabytes per second, and an upload speed of 6.15. So in comparison to my normal IP address, Goose VPN is actually giving me a higher download speed, but a slower upload speed and ping result. VPNs will always impact your connection anyway. So these results from Goose VPN look good, and they have already provided me with a smooth and comfortable browsing experience. However, how well do streaming services perform with this VPN? There's only one way to find out. Let's head back to Netflix and see what happens. So now I'm logged back into Netflix and I'm on the US version of the website. So just like before, I searched for the TV series Lost, but as I was based in the UK, I got no results. So here I am again. This time I'm using an IP address based in the US. So let's try searching for Lost once again. And I'm happy to see that it does show up for me this time around. So let's click play and see if Goose VPN can work some magic. So yes, Goose VPN has successfully unblocked this stream and buffering time appears to be very low. So overall, I'm very happy because many VPNs actually fail to unblock Netflix. And this has worked first time around without any issues whatsoever. And I didn't even need to contact support asking them which servers I need to use. Okay, so the very last test I'm going to do is get in touch with the customer support. I'm doing this because I want to see how they respond to the customer's queries and see how helpful they are. So I don't really have any technical issues relating to this VPN. So while that's good news, I actually do have a question regarding their payment choices that they accept. So as you remember, I showed you that Goose VPN don't actually accept Bitcoin payments or any anonymous payment methods. So I want to ask them if this is something they're going to change in the future as they do advertise themselves as a VPN that has high privacy standards. So why not have a private and anonymous payment method? So to contact Goose VPN, head to the FAQ support tab in your app and then click on the FAQ section. So you'll be taken to a page with a contact form, but I decided to email them instead of filling out the contact form. And here you can see my email and I'm happy to report that they did get back to me within 24 hours. Out of interest, you can see that the answer they gave me was that unfortunately they don't intend to use Bitcoin or any other digital currency in the future. So the last stage in this tutorial is to unsubscribe and I'm showing you this to see how easy it is to cancel and whether they give me a hard time for leaving or not. To cancel, log into your account, click my profile and on the right hand side of the screen you'll see the option to cancel your account. Click this and complete the short contact form telling them your reasons for cancelling. Once that's completed you'll find that your subscription is automatically cancelled. They didn't ask me any questions and leaving was very simple and hassle free. So I'm very pleased with how Goose VPN could unblock Netflix for me. I also tested the speed of some other servers and found that the performance was very much on par with what you saw in the video. Also, I had very few difficulties technically, so I'm very pleased with that. But, don't just take my word for it, do check out what hundreds of other users have already said about Goose VPN over at vpnmentor.com. Here you can read guest reviews, so this is a great way to find out how trustworthy this VPN provider actually is. So, what are your thoughts? Do let us know by commenting below. Also, don't forget to like and share this video. So, thanks for watching.